latest developments in the aviation sector, the Minister for Aviation, Joseph Kofiada, has described as inaccurate the assertion by the Workers' Union of the Ghana Airports Company that there, there are plans to privatize the Kotoka International Airport. The minister has been addressing the press conference. In a moment, we'll join my colleague, Eben Sabote. First, this report by Henry Kwesi Bedou on claims by the Workers' Union of the Airports Company. Workers from Kumasi, Tamale, and Accra chant songs expressing their displeasure over alleged plans to privatize all government airports in the country. After chanting, they also started invoking curses on management of the airport. <laughs> He accused the management of being in bed with the aviation ministry to hand over the Ghana Airport Company Limited to the Turkish investors. <laughs> Workers say they cannot understand why the government will want to privatize the airport. I beg, this is my son. This is where I eat and this is how I feed them. I beg. If whoever or whatever plans they have, they should leave this airport because that is the only job we know. So as what is your plan? What are you going to do? We are stating this straight that one to the head of our our company and then to our minister. If our father, who is the head here, director, knows that he loves his children, anything that comes, he will call our union and call us as well. And address to us, we have no clue. It means whatever it is, it is to them and then the ministry and then the government. And this is not fair to us. So we say, we are saying, MD will go. The minister, they are taking it already on his way. MD Kwakwa is going. Almond Korte is a member of the senior staff union and has worked with the Ghana airport for 18 years. He believes the move is unnecessary and must be aborted. It's not necessary, you understand? You know, if a private man comes in, obviously the salary structure will change. Benefits will cease. Are you getting me? So we don't need it at all. The bone of contention, yes. We don't need any partnership thing. Yes. Are you going to fight this with your last blood and soul? Yes, please. Not me alone, all staff, all general staff. We are very serious. Executives of the Trade Union Congress say they will meet with management to find a lasting solution to the concerns of workers. Adding a Ghanaian company is capable of equally managing Ghana's airport, as it has always been the case. Bernard Ajay is General Secretary of the Public Service Workers Union of the TUC. We have heard you. We have heard you. Your executives have told us so when we go to the negotiation we are going to advance your position and that position is that the airport can be run by Ghanaians and it will be run by Ghanaians and therefore and therefore and therefore we will allow the process to go on we are going to represent you as we have always done and more. Although the aviation ministry has denied any move to hand over Ghana's airports to foreign investors, the workers say they will fight the alleged takeover with all their strength. Henry Kusibedus reports for Joy News. All right, so the aviation minister has been responding to those claims. He says they are inaccurate. Let's get uh, the latest from my colleague, Eben Sabote, who attended a press conference today. So uh, the aviation minister saying that those claims are inaccurate. What's the real story? Is that uh, a question by the workers senior yesterday that the Ghana Airport Company Limited is going to be it's not true because when you look at the documents that they have, um, the strategic partner that is supposed to come from Texas is yet to present its plans and what it should do for the airport company. So it is inaccurate to come out to say the airport is going to be privatized or it's going to be sold. What he was also trying to say is that there, there were some uh, 
who were saying that comment that they were going to lay off some of the staff. There's no plan to lay off any staff. He was saying that, but for the COVID and its uh, implications on the aviation sector, they were rather going to employ more people because they are doing expansion work at the Ghana Airport Company Limited. When you look at the various efforts that we have in the country, that is Kumati, Accra, and Sinan. So there's no way there's going to be any layoff. He was also debunking the claim that these people, all the uh, staff there, were going to be under the private uh, sector management or the foreign investors management. He was saying that there's no alpha of truth about that allegation. Now, uh, Okay, uh, and so how, what steps are they taking to allay the fears of these workers? Are they seeking to engage the workers to explain further? Yes, so he was saying that there have been some engagements, but the fact is that the Turkish entity is just to present what the value will be doing for them. So they haven't engaged the workers in what this company will be doing, they are yet to finalize what the company will be doing. But they have to be that there will be a strategic investor coming on board. And they have not indicated to them that they are coming to take over the management of the company or they are trying to buy the uh, whole company or the terminal trade. So, yes, there has been some engagement, but because the agreement has yet to be finalized, there hasn't been any firm decision as to whether they are selling the locations of the company or they are privatizing it. either a private sector company from local or foreign is coming on board. So all those questions are not to die. Okay, final question, Aben. Uh, just tell us what the, the scenery is like over there today, uh, seeing that workers demonstrated yesterday. How would you describe the atmosphere where you are? Okay, so at the moment, the place is calm. Uh, work has to return. Let me put it that way. Even though the COVID-19 restrictions have brought in some uh, slow numbers, but uh, work is ongoing. You know, the, we were still doing some uh, light because due to their logistics and all that. So yes, those ones are working. But when it comes to passenger cities, I mean, I can say that the place is uh, almost empty. Yes, except those who are doing logistics are taking in booths and all that. So if you are not having anything to do with business, like any booth coming in or going out of the country, then you will not be there. But passengers, actually people traveling, I, I can barely count in the table. I can barely see everybody around. And I can also see that some of the staff are going about their normal day to day business, unlike yesterday when they were started in red and down to order. Today it's today it's been a normal working day for them. I've seen most of them just going up and down normal way. All right. Thank you so much, Eben Sabute, with that update from the um, airports where the aviation minister has been addressing claims that they have plans to privatize the Kotoka International Airport.